Buy something that pays you. Huh? Buy something that pays you. It's hard to understand at first, so listen carefully. Buy something that pays you. Most people buy things that charge you. You buy it once, but it keeps charging you. Anything on a credit card, mortgage, a car, cable. You buy gas, and when it runs out, you buy some more. In that way, it keeps charging you. Even food. Yes, I know you need it, but it's still something that charges you. Yes, I know, but still. I'm recommending that you buy something that pays you. If you buy a home and have a $500 a month mortgage on it, then you bought something that charges you. $500 a month. However, if you rent it out for $750 a month, then you get paid $250 a month. And then you have bought something that pays you. Actually, the renters pay you because they are buying something that charges them. By the way, that's not evil. That's just trading what they want for what you want. But now your rental property is something you bought that pays you. Buy something that pays you. How do you usually get paid? Most likely you trade your time for it. Maybe you traded your expertise for it or your skill for it. A coal miner, a doctor, an actor, a brain surgeon, a whatever. You trade your time for money. Then you trade your money for things that charge you. Most people trade their life away for money. All of their time, all of their energy for money that they then use to buy things that charge them more money. But what if you traded your money for something that pays you? After a while, you wouldn't have to trade your time anymore. You could literally buy your time back. Buy something that pays you. Have you ever bought something from a vending machine? Sure you have. You're hungry, you see a vending machine, so you buy some candy, soda, whatever. When you buy that stuff, you trade your money for the stuff you wanted. That's what we do with money. Trade it for things we want. You wanted food, you traded money for it. You bought something and consumed it. Now it's gone and so is the money. No, it's not. It was traded to the owner of the machine. The owner of that machine got paid by the machine. The owner bought the candy, bought the soda, and bought the machine. And the machine pays him when people buy stuff. If he's eating, sleeping, playing, having sex, he bought something that pays him. He doesn't trade his time for money, he just collects the cash. He bought that machine and it pays him. There are other ways to buy something that pays you. I bought the knowledge to write a book. I have even bought the rights to books. But writing a book doesn't pay. Owning the rights to a book doesn't pay. Selling a book pays. My big time Simon & Schuster book made me no money until it was selling. The vending machine makes no money if no one sees it. The rental home makes no money if it's empty. The selling of a book pays. To buy something that pays you, it must sell something. I wanted my book to pay me, so I needed my book to sell. So I bought the knowledge of how to sell a book. I paid someone for their time to teach me to sell a book. I bought that knowledge at $1,000 an hour. I'll say it again. I paid someone $1,000 an hour to teach me to sell my book. I bought the knowledge to sell a book. Now that book pays me. I bought something that pays me. One thing she said was buy ads. If you own a business, buying ads is buying something that pays you. Coca-Cola buys an ad on TV and we go buy Coca-Cola, which pays them. Companies buy people's time in the form of salaries because buying that time pays them. Your time is your company's thing that pays them. Do you get it now? Buy something that pays you. Did you learn something? Then share it. I teach more stuff. I recommend a website where you can buy a marketing system that pays you. It works just like a vending machine, a virtual vending machine. If you want to learn more about buying something that pays you, then visit the website below. www.thevirtualvendingmachine.com Thevirtualvendingmachine.com Bye.